Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, so today using a B175 size 10 Kamasan hook, uh, we're gonna tie, as you've seen in the picture already, a dial back with a red hollow rib. Just make sure the hook's nice and secure and use a fire orange thread. So this one's from Uni itself. Uh, the reason I use this thread all over the body uh, so that I don't have to change between a black thread and a red thread at the end. So I'm just gonna tie all the way down towards <coughs> till the end of the barb itself. And and I'll be using a, a black hackle, a cock hackle for this one. So just pinch a bit of the hackle. Try and get a nice even size. Yeah, half of the body and a bit. Bring it towards the end and give it a few wraps. Just make sure it's nice and even so the body looks even as well. Excuse my fingers. There you are. I'm gonna use a red rib as well for the rib. So this one's a size uh, medium and a bit of peacock curl as well. Well, a couple of strands will do you. If you want a thicker body or a thinner body, just adjust the amount. But for a medium, I just use two. I'm gonna use this to put it all around the body and give it a nice shape if you just use one just make sure the peacock curl is quite thick as well now just snip it off and the next thing to do is bring the holographic rib around you can also use a thin small size wire rib to give it an extra support but this time I'm not going to use it so that's it done the body bits already done the next thing that we'll focus on is the thorax itself so same as before use the same black hackle uh, pinch a bit of it and put it on the side just make sure this even yep and wrap it on the side so what I'm gonna do is snip that off and with my thumb I'm just gonna twist it all the way so it's gone underneath the thorax and now I'm slowly gonna build the head up and nice and easily it's not focusing correctly but yeah there you are and that should do it. Next thing I'm going to do is put a bit of super glue on the head. I will not do a wet finish for that. Mm, so there you are. Nice and easy done. The reason I'm not doing a wet finish is I'm going to put a UV resin on top of it anyways. So it looks nice and good. So just a bit of UV resin. Evenly. This is a medium body resin, so it's not going to overflow all over the place. Make sure you've got a good torch as well that you use. I usually prefer to use a, a nail drying torch, UV lamp, but I'm just going to use a torch today. And there you are. Give it a few seconds and that's it. Nice and secure. Uh, done. That's it. Yeah, so guys, if you're happy with that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tight lines.